Okay, guys, this is 7 Demo 7, and this is going to be a comprehensive review of the ES120 Mini Motion Control Electronic Screwdriver. So, as a bit of a mouthful, um, I have to say that this is quite an expensive tool that you might use, maybe for quadcopters, maybe for your RC drift cars. And that's what I kind of bought it for. I wanted to see if it was um, something that can be used for those type of applications. It can, and it might help you out in, in those situations. It's really intended for uh, working on on things like uh, iPhones and small electronics so there's a couple of caveats with buying things like this and also the wow stick which I just reviewed uh, if you guys uh, will like to see that video it's a similar type of screwdriver I'll put a link right up in the corner here and if it's not there yet that means I haven't posted it quite yet now this is the same company that brought you the TS 100 soldering iron that's rechargeable by USB and it has a OLED screen on it this is very similar to that type of product it's nice it's handy and it's portable so let's just get into it guys I'm gonna to go ahead and open this up and obviously I've been using this for the last two months and so I just kind of repackaged it up here very poorly but it comes very well packaged you pull off this little plastic thing here and it's got the carrying case in the side here uh, and you pull the screwdriver out I'm just gonna kind of maim this box here so this runs a STM32 chip. That means you're going to be able to upgrade the firmware on this. Um, it does have an upgradable firmware right now that allows you to control the different types of torque for the speed, which is pretty cool. It has an internal gyroscope that tells where your hand is and what, how fast the screwdriver should go. It has an internal planetary gear system. has an OLED screen on it, and it... Um, uh, it has screwdriver. It has bits in it, a few of it, them, not many. So this comes with four different bits, and I'm not going to show those to you on screen here. Now this screwdriver takes four millimeter hex bits that are going to be made for electronics. It comes with four bits uh, that I really can't use. There are two Torx bits and two very small screwdrivers. So when you buy this kit, you're going to need to buy um, a separate secondary kit that has the type of bits that you're going to be using on quadcopters like a 2 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter and a 1.5 uh, for using on your drift cars and or quadcopters. So I'm going to go over this product in just a moment. This is only a $9 product. It has pretty much everything that you're going to need. I'll link this in the description below, but we'll check, be checking this out in just a moment. Okay, as far as the inst instructions go, it is really, really simple on how to use this. You basically press the button and turn your wrist whichever direction you want it to go, whether it's facing down or up really really simple stuff here this page here gives you some details about upgrading the firmware and some of the performance data on the screwdriver as well if you guys want to pause this here you can go ahead and do that let's look at the screwdriver itself here let me just get a little bit of a close-up going on here so looking at the bottom you have your usb port here you have your oled screen here which turns on when you hit the button you have a working end right here there's no light on the front i have all my useful bits that i use here uh, in this little pouch that it comes with so it's magnetized so you just slip the bit in and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna press the button and the screwdriver is gonna sense which direction I'm leaning my hand and you'll notice as I do this that the screwdriver will go faster and slower depending on how far I turn my my hand so the button is right up here the button is in a little bit of an odd place I would have liked it down here so I could just turn my hand this way or this way but they, uh, it kind of forces you to kind of put your hand in this position. It's a little weird in the beginning, but I tell you, as soon as you use this a few times, it actually uh, becomes more uh, intuitive. So when you're going to go to unscrew something, it's good to kind of cock your hand this, in this direction, press the button, and then slowly move it towards the direction you want. It's going to go slow with a little bit of torque, and then faster and faster as you, as you actually turn your hand here. You can see that the, the bit speeds up and slows down as you turn your hand. So if I'm going to unscrew something, So slow, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. So that's how that works. If you press this button three times, it's going to go into your menus. So it just shows you your different torque levels. And you can change the different types of torque levels as you go through. I just leave it on automatic for right now. Now, if you upgrade the firmware on this, you're going to have a secondary menu that gives you even more controls. So this is the case that the ES120 comes with. and I have to say, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired. I wish they would have left um, a little bit of room in the end so that when you uh, place your screwdriver into the case here that it would actually allow you to keep your favorite bit in there. This is obviously too long, so I'm just going to take this out and place it in one of these elastic straps. Now, these elastic straps, these are going to fail at some point. These always do. It's always 
happening where these things wear out, where the stitching wears out. So uh, that usually is what happens. So basically I have my 2.5, my two, my two and a half here. I have some screwdriver bits over here. It only holds six. I wish it held a few more than that. It would have been nice, but it does zip up quite nicely here. Uh, you can put this in your pocket. It's a little smaller than the wow stick um, container here, as you can see. So the wow stick uh, container, this is going to be more for your backpack. This is going to be more for your back pocket. So it is definitely a little bit more compact. So let's pull this out of here and let's um, just take out some screws from a, a quadcopter real quick and see how it reacts. Okay guys, let's get out this 2.5 millimeter bit. And like I said, these bits are all from this kit over here. I'll go over that at the very end of the video just so you guys know why I got it and, and where I got it from. All right guys, so let's go ahead and remove one of these screws. Now this does have thread locker on it, so just keep that in mind. Now the way we do this usually is, uh, the way I do it is I always make sure that the button is kind of far off to the, to the right here since we're unscrewing something. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually unscrew this, get the initial unscrewing done with the screwdriver itself just by turning it. Now I'm gonna hit the button with the button off to the right, and I'm gonna push the button and slowly turn my hand to the left, and it's giving me some torque here. And like I said, that, that does have some thread locker on it. So let me just go ahead and screw this back in here. I'm going to speed this up by just by turning my hand, and it's got quite a bit of torque there. So uh, that is the 2.5 millimeter on the top. Let's go ahead and do one of the top plate screws that goes into the standoff. Now these standoffs usually don't take a lot of torque to, to get them off. So let's, um, let's go ahead and do this here. So again, I'm I tighten these down before, so I'm going to loosen it up here just with a screwdriver, and I'm now I'm going to power it on comes out really easily and we can go quite fast and let's go ahead and uh, screw it back in so it goes that easily like I said I hate I hate screwing these things in by hand it's just a pain in the butt <laughs> call me call me spoiled I guess so guys is this ES120 worth a uh, hundred dollars I would say probably not now these have been discounted because I don't think they sold quite as um, popularly as they did it is a good screwdriver I really like it if I were building iPhones or repairing iPhones this is the tool I'd have in my hand for quadcopters and, and RC cars uh, maybe not so much. It has torque, but if you've got long screws that you hate unscrewing, it would be just fine for. Um, at the current price of $79 is a much better deal, plus it's free shipping. Um, I love the OLED screen. I love that it has an internal battery that you don't have to replace any of the batteries. So it has its own battery in here. I didn't mention that before. Okay, so let's go over... The bad things that I, I don't like about this, uh, well, number one, at this price, it needs to come with more bits and, and more bits that are going to be fitting the things that you're actually going to be using it for. Now, like I said, for iPhone repair use, this is perfect and it comes with some decent bits, but let's pull over this little $9 kit that I got from uh, Amazon. You know, I just open this up like this and this is a great little kit. It's $9. It has all your bits in here. I'm just going to pop these up and you can kind of see the... The bits that I have taken out of here, but it has all the different sizes of hexes here, all the different screwdrivers, um, it has all the different um, everything pretty much. It has Torx bits, square bits, triangular bits, um, all kinds of screwdrivers, and also all of these uh, bit uh, adapters. So you can adapt to say the larger uh, drill bit uh, section that you get from Home Depot, but um, also has just just a, a nice. Um, a hand hand handle which is is really nice so if you're going to be getting either this or the wow stick um you should definitely get this kit from amazon because oh, or banggood I, I'll, I'll leave a link uh, to both of them they're basically both the same kit this just folds down what a great kit that this is if you're going to be doing a lot of work with these screwdrivers so so um, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive uh, review, um, a comparison between this and the wow stick. If you guys don't know what the wow stick looks like, it looks just like this. It's quite a bit bigger. It's a lot simpler, a lot less expensive, and um, it has a little light in the front. So I will be doing a comparison between these two coming up pretty soon. This one does come with a lot of bits, but it tends to be not the ones that we use for quadcopters and, uh, and uh, RC cars. So... With that, guys, uh, this is the ES120. I hope you guys like this little review. It's it's quite a good unit. It's, it's very well built. Everything, all, all the machining is really well done. The motor is in, in the inside is great. All the reviews I've seen on this have been fantastic. So if this is something that might benefit you, uh, go ahead and hit the link down below. It helps out my channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.